اللهم ارحمني برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم One of the greatest forms of sending thawab, isali thawab, gifting our good deeds to our loved ones is Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he used to slaughter two camels and on one of them he used to say oh Allah this is from me and my family and the other one he used to say Allahumma hadha an ummati jami'an that oh Allah this qurbani is the sacrifice is on behalf of my whole ummat man shahida laka bit tawheed whoever testifies to your oneness wa shahida li bil balagh and whoever testifies that i meaning nabi karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam has conveyed the message that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tasked him with so here we learn the importance of doing qurbani and then doing qurbani and passing it on we can do it with two ways we can do the dhaba and then say oh allah pass on the, th- the reward to my loved one or we can actually just make the intention that uh, this camel or this animal for example somebody does a big animal seven parts and he makes the intention that oh Allah one part is for Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one part is for the sahaba one part is for the awliya one part is for my family for, for my parents so in other words for my teachers and like that the best way especially in these days because the qurbani is limited sacrifice and qurbani we can only do it in a very very limited time period and we can only send the reward of that throughout the whole year in those 2 3 days that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us and nabi kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was generous enough to sacrifice the qurbani and pass on the reward to all every single one of us every single one of us true believers So it is a duty upon us that minimum we, if Allah has given us the means, then minimum we sacrifice on behalf of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from our parents, especially those who have passed away, and from our loved ones, our children, our uncles, great-grandfathers, great-grandfathers, grandmothers, great-grandmothers. And like I said, we can say one part is for all the people in my, uh, in my family who, who, who were Muslims, all my marhumeen as we say. As the Shaykh Rahmatullahi Ali, he mentions that at the time of Qurbani, he himself, he would buy, he would pay to have 10 to 12 big animals, meaning uh, animals which have seven parts in the Qurbani. And then, as the Shaykh Rahmatullah Ali say, I would, my own self, I would have 10 to 12 qurbanis, big animals. And then I had told my friends and my colleagues and my elders that in India, obviously, money was short and people, they, they wouldn't be able to afford a big animal on their own. So what they would do would seven people would get together. And then sometimes they'd find five people for five parts but they wouldn't find or they'd go around looking for two more people to, to help them and to, to buy out or to become part of the two parts. So as the Shaykh Rahmatullahi had told his friends and colleagues and elders that whoever faces this dilemma that there's six people but they can't find the seventh people. There's five people they can't find two. As the Shaykh Rahmatullahi had told them, put my name down and after let me know how much I owe you and I'll send you the money. In this way, as the Shaykh Rahmatullahi Ali, he says, I even had a hissa and I had a part in the qurbani that would be done by Hazrat Tanvi, Hazrat Maulana Ashraf Ali Tanvi, Nawarallahu Marqadahu, in his khanka in Tanabawan. I also had a part in the, the, the khanka of Hazrat Shah Abdul Rahim Raipuri, Rahmatullahi Ali. And after qurbani, they would tell me that uh, we, one of the parts was yours. So is it, uh, is it a gift from us or are you going to pay for it? Then Hazrat Shaykh Rahmatullah Ali would send the money. In this way, Hazrat Shaykh Rahmatullah Ali used to do hundreds of qurbanis. And then Hazrat Shaykh Rahmatullah Ali would list it. Oh Allah, 
ون قربان اس و نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ون قربان اس و حضرت عبق صدیق رضی اللہ عنہ حضرت عمر خلفاء اربعہ اشر مبشرہ ازواج متحرات اہل بیت the daughters of نبی کریم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and his teachers and one قربانی as a شیخ رحمت اللہ علیہ says I also used to make a قربانی on behalf of حضرت ابو موسیٰ حضرت حضرت ابو امامہ انصاری رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ because Hazrat Abu Umam Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he did a great favor to the Ummah. What was that favor? Hazrat Abu Umam Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he came to Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, Ya Rasulallah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have taught us literally hundreds and hundreds of du'as. How can we make all those du'as and how can we remember and how can we get time to read all those du'as? Teach us a du'a which encompasses all the du'as that you have taught us. So Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught him that read this du'a. Allahumma inna nas'aluka min khayri ma sa'alaka minhu nabiyyuka Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa na'udhu bika min shari ma sta'adhaka minhu nabiyyuka Sayyiduna Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anta al-musta'an wa alayka al-balaq wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-aliyya al-azim. Now that du'a I've already, or you can find the meaning of it meaning simply is very in short oh allah whatever good your prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked for i asked for that whatever evil you know, your prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sought refuge from and protection from i ask I, i seek refuge and i ask protection from and then so just because of that has sheikh rahmatullahi alayhi says we uh, as that abu maman sadri allah ta'ala who has done an incredible favor to the ummah in thanks to that, Hazrat Shaykh Rahmatullahi Ali would sacrifice one part of an animal for Hazrat Abu Umam Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So to thank our benefactors, to thank the people that we should be for, for because of whose sake we are Muslims, and the best way we can thank them is by doing as many qurbanis as we can, especially for those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted, uh, granted wealth and granted means to be able to do this. وآخر الدعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين